16 upon 4 minus square root of 15 all under square root we have to simplify so let's try here within the square root we have a number and a radical in the denominator so let's first rationalize the denominator to rationalize the denominator we multiply and divide it by the conjugate of the denominator conjugate of x plus y is x minus y so conjugate of 4 minus square root of 15 it will be 4 plus square root of 15 so we multiply and divide it by this conjugate so 16 upon 4 minus square root of 15 then times 4 plus square root of 15 upon 4 plus square root of 15 by multiplying and dividing by the same number we don't change the question because we can easily cancel these two outs and the question remains same now this is 16 times 4 plus square root of 15 upon 4 minus square root of 15 times 4 plus square root of 15 under square root now if you consider a as 4 and b as square root of 15 then this is in the form of a minus b times a plus b and this is in the form of differences of square so we can write a square minus b square so we write here now multiply it first 16 times 4 is 64 then plus 16 times square root of 15 upon 4 square minus square root of 15 square under square root so 64 plus 16 times square root of 15 upon 4 square is 16 minus we can remove the square root with the square so it is 15 under square root 16 minus 15 is 1 so now we have 64 plus 16 times square root of 15 under square root now to further simplify it we need to remove this square root if we can write this number in forms of a plus minus b whole square then this whole square can remove the square root 64 plus 16 we can write it as 2 times 8 then times square root of 15 or 64 plus 2 8 we can write it as square root of 8 square because then you can remove the square root with the square and it will be equal to 8 then times square root of 15 under square root 64 plus 2 times when square root of a times square root of b we can write it as a times b under square root so this is square root of 8 times square root of 8 times square root of 15 so we can write it as 15 times 8 times 8 under square root or 64 plus 2 times 15 we can write it as 5 times 3 then times 8 then times 8 under square root now 64 we can write it as 40 plus 24 plus 2 then if we multiply it 5 times 8 is 40 we can, we can write 40 then times and 8 times 3 is 24 under square root now we can write 40 as square root of 40 square plus 24 as square root of 24 square and this we can write, write it as square root of 40 times square root of 24 under square root now if square root of 40 is a square root of 24 is b then this is in the form of a square plus b square here we have plus plus 2ab and then this is equal to a plus b whole square so we can write square root of 40 plus square root of 24 whole square under square root now you can remove the square root with the square now we have square root of 40 plus square root of 24 now let's simplify the radicals 5 times 2 times 4 is 40 plus 6 3 times 2 times 4 is 24 or we can write it as square root of 4 times square root of 10 plus square root of 4 times square root of 6 square root of 4 is 2 so 2 times square root of 10 
plus 2 times square root of 6. We can take 2 common and write square root of 10 plus square root of 6. Again square root of 10 is square root of 5 times square root of 2 plus square root of 6 is square root of 2 times square root of 3. So here we can take square root of 2 also common and write square root of 5 plus square root of 3 inside the bracket. So this is our final answer. Thanks for watching.